First on Fox 29, it's just what we don't need, more storms. Possible tornadoes, wind, hail, rain, flooding. Rob runs down the damage report next. This is Fox 29, 10 o'clock news. Homes opened up like cans, trees reduced to splintered sticks. Witnesses say a tornado barreled down on them in south central Pennsylvania late this afternoon. Two dozen people are hurt and dozens of homes are leveled. Hardest hit was the community of Campbelltown in Lebanon County, east of Harrisburg. We have live team coverage coming up in just a few minutes. Plus, we'll tell you about more evacuations at this hour as another dam is close to bursting. Rob? Yeah, we still have warnings continuing at this hour. We'll go right to the map and tell you that Lancaster County has a flood warning until 3 in the morning. That's particularly for northern Lancaster County, that port. And tell you why more severe weather could be on the way. That is big picture weather. New Jersey state officials say another dam is about to break in Burlington County. People in Pemberton, New Jersey have been told to evacuate their homes. Now that means even more flooding could hit that already saturated area. Sharon Crowley joins us now on the phone with the very latest. Sharon. Yeah, Dave, we're live here in Pemberton Township at the municipal building at the staging area. And joining me now is the Deputy Emergency Management Coordinator. And he's... Fox 29 News is just getting started. Coming up next. 50 million bucks later, is Philadelphia's new police radio system working? Also ahead, a man doused with his family with gasoline and set them ablaze while driving. Find out why he may have done this. And find out why bare legs and bare stomachs are getting covered up across America in a Fox 29 special report. Tomorrow. Controversy over the presidential campaign at the NAACP convention continues tomorrow at 10. An actress researches a role but gets a surprise ending. True, I need your help. To Myra Gray guest stars, True Calling. Thursday at 9 on Fox 29. This Fox 29 program brought to you by McDonald's open 6 a.m. or earlier. I'm loving it. Get the groceries and the drinks. The first one-stop supermarket with a liquor section. That's coming up next on the Fox 29 10 o'clock news. Continuing our storm coverage, cleanup is underway in Lumberton. The water levels appear to be going down, but several feet of water still kept cars and backyards, even some houses submerged. Dave Stratweiser continues our team coverage. A utility service in downtown Lumberton was disconnected as a safety precaution. That's the latest on the storms. Stay with Fox 29 News for continuing coverage. In the meantime, the FBI has charged a Philadelphia man with making several bomb threats. These are surveillance pictures of the man released earlier this week. Police busted an Upper Darby man for child porn. David Urquhart of South Brighton Avenue is charged with 3,000 counts of child porn. He's been locked up on charges that he attacked two people with a machete in retaliation for reporting a rape. While in jail, police say Urquhart wrote a friend about a hidden hard drive that contained the porn. And two Philadelphia police narcotics officers have pleaded guilty to charges that they lied to a federal prosecutor about seizing 23 kilograms of cocaine without a warrant. The pair entered their plea yesterday just as their trial was to start. Still ahead, check this out. It was more than just a bottle that washed ashore in Florida. And health talk drinking and breast cancer find out your possible risk and in the fox 29 special report Brittany and beyonce brought up uh, brought us the skimpy look find out why it is not here to stay The Simpsons, King of the Hill, another Simpsons, Seinfeld. There's only one home of comedy, Fox 29. We have the world covered. Here's the very latest now from the Fox News desk. The Senate rejected a constitutional amendment banning gay marriage today. A defeat for President Bush. The one, the only, all local morning news. No idea her neighbor was up there until she turned on. Good day, very Philadelphia. Nice. Fox 29 is the only station covering your news. The flooding this morning. The state of emergency. Stick with Good Day, Philadelphia. Live local extended coverage. At least 500 evacuations. Good Day, Philadelphia, only on Fox 29. 
16 people in. That sure looks like a tornado, though. It doesn't yeah. have that telltale, mm -hmm. you know, Just everything isn't laying in the down, one right, right direction. Right, it out. That even actually looks like 150 mile an hour winds, maybe an F2. But again, the weather service will conf confirm looking at the damage tomorrow. But uh, let's check out some video from earlier. This was over at the Mid County Toll. Look at the low clouds moving across. This was our second wave of thunderstorms as it crossed through uh, Chester and Montgomery County. Here's the map. Again, the satellite showing this spin. There's a lot of cold air up here, and that really got the atmosphere going. And this spin is going to hang around for a couple of days, and then we're going to see another system develop down south in our direction in a few more days and bring in the chance of severe weather once again. It's that very Tomorrow, partly sunny skies, a slight risk of a scattered storm in the afternoon, but much better than the past few days. Temperatures in the upper 70s to low 80s. Coming up, the five-day forecast and the nine-day trend that I mentioned, more severe weather could be on the way. That is Big Picture Weather. Up next in Health Talk, a link between breast cancer and drinking. How many drinks a day could put you at risk? The Fox 29 News Team, working the stories, working for you. You know, it's hard not to notice how skimpy some people are dressing these days. Short skirts, low-riding pants, and belly shirts are all the craze. But when is casual too casual? Jennifer Frederick has a look. Go right back into our big story, of yeah. course, the weather situation. Yeah, the weather. Things are starting to calm down right now. That's Thank the goodness. good news. And we'll look at our big picture photo of the day. We talked about this the other day. Look at this Cadillac, this pink Cadillac, Scott Peterson, mm. Cherry Hill. Mm. Yeah, that was on yeah. Monday. So thanks for sending those photos in of the flooding. And if you have any more, send them along to us. We'll show them in the next few days. All right, Flood Watch continues for about an hour and 10 minutes more across the region. Flood warning till 3 a.m. in Lancaster County. And then, of course, in central Burlington, they still have the problems here. The warning will continue into the morning. Five-day forecast showing a chance of thunderstorms late in the day Friday. Looks like Saturday's okay. Sunday, late in the day, we're going to get another system from the south, and that could bring a lot of rain here. That will also extend into Monday. We've got to keep an eye on that. 82 Sunday, 80 on Monday. The nine-day trend takes us through next week and does show the temperatures actually stay below normal because there's so much moisture in the atmosphere. We're going to have a good deal of cloud cover day in and day out at times, and that's why the temperatures will be below normal until next week where we finally get back into a summer pattern. So we'll keep you posted. We've got a few more days to watch this weather system. Thank you very much, Thank sir. You. Billy V's got sports after the break. Welcome back, Trotter. Former Eagles middle linebacker Jeremiah Trotter is coming back. The Eagles and Trotter have agreed on a one-year contract. Trotter will have to pass a physical tomorrow to make sure his injured knees can still handle the demands of pro football. Some members of the Phillies' Reading Farm team showing off their skills in the double-A all-star game tonight. First baseman Ryan Howard, the young slugger who's hit 33 homers so far this year. Oh, there he is signing some autographs before the game, then taking part in the home run contest. Those 33 home runs tying Greg Luzinski's single season record for a double A Phillies team. And then during the All Star game itself, Ryan Howard strikes out, just like the Phillies Major League All Star players did last night. Jim Tomey and Bobby Abreu, of course, both struck out last night. But clearly, this young man is a future Philadelphia Philly, provided he doesn't get traded for a player who can help the Phils right now. Howard, for his part, not worrying about whether he'll get traded. He's just trying to prove he belongs in the majors. Thank you. All right. Tomorrow on Good Day, tips on how to maximize your coupon use. And yoga for you and your newborn. Benefits for mom and baby. Good stuff. Plus weather and traffic on the nines, of course. That's all tomorrow starting at 530. And Rob? Yeah, we're going to take a look at radar one more time. Here's some good news. The rain now starting to end. Uh, you see that yellow area. That's some moderate rain, but that is north of Trenton north of Princeton, heading up towards New York City. Just a few sprinkles now down in South Jersey, but that's going to be it for tonight. And of course, a good day at 530. We'll have an outlook towards the weekend. We could see more storms coming down the road. Thank you very much, sir. American Idol Ruben Studdard performed tonight at the NAACP convention in Philadelphia. He sure did. We're going to let him sing you out of our show now. Good night, everybody.